Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, all you minties out there. This is Omar from Near Mint Condition, and today I'm gonna quickly show you my geeky Christmas haul. So please stay tuned. And all these gifts came from my family and friends, so it's really cool that everybody really seems to know me and what I love. So what I love, for example, Final Fantasy VI, greatest RPG of all time. And this is my favorite character of all time, Locke. My brother bought me these from a convention. And it's pretty cool because their stands are like their stats. So that's really awesome. And I told him, I'm like, well, where's the rest of them? There's so many characters. And he said they only had five. So it looks like Locke, Edgar, Sabin, Terra, and Celis. And speaking of Locke and Celis, he also got me this keychain that's two sided. There's Locke on one side, Celis on the other. That's awesome. Got a couple of little cuphead mystery boxes. Glad I got the main characters. This awesome little Freddy Krueger plush toy. This is really nice. This is the Samurai Jack Blu-ray box set. Let's see, I just opened it up a little bit ago. It comes with this big metal print. That's pretty cool. Um, and it's got all five seasons in here. S love the music love the sound effects and love voice acting on this show and i never got to finish it so curious to see how they finished season five um something else that i hate and love is these nenodroid figures which i call pop figures for rich people this is kamina and apparently yoko is also out so now i gotta track her down of course because i'm a completist because my brother also pre-ordered simone that comes out next year. And this is Kyo Kusanagi from King of Fighters. That's my character. And I hope they don't come out with more of these because then I'd be forced to get them. This is a wonderful book by Hector Hermann Oesterfeld. And this is Mort Cinder. Don't want to flip too much through here. He is the gentleman that did The Eternaut, one of my favorite books that I read a couple of years ago. And this is his new book that was translated by Fanographics. And I really like the feel of the book. It's got this squishy foam-like feel of the hardcover. I had no idea it was out until I saw it in somebody else's haul in a group I'm in. So thank goodness I got to see that. And somebody got it for me for Christmas. Along with this limited run video game for the PS Vita. It's Phantom Break Battlegrounds pretty cool i love limited run they're one of my favorite groups that do these amazing little games and awesome box sets i'm not gonna open the toys because you know toys you can kind of see them from the box but let me look in here and see what this has and i know rob would kill me if he saw me opening this box up all right let's see this is side of the box Let's see what the, what the contents are. The CD. You still have one of those things called a CD player. The actual game. And what is this back here? Oh, all kinds of goodies. Little trading cards. Uh, is this an art book? Yeah, nice. Cute little anime girls. I assume a poster. I don't even know what this is. This is an RPG. Uh, maybe. Let me see if I can even see what kind of game this is. Maybe it's an RPG. So there's some little standees. Let's put this up. That's pretty cool. Some art books. The complete art of Full Metal Alchemist. I think this is separated by year. Let's look, look through here real quick. And this is all stuff from the manga, not the anime. Just to clarify. But a lot of it is done in color, which most of the manga, of course, is in black and white. Yeah, 
most of these are probably covers from the volumes and internal artwork, kind of like that One Piece book, which I'm about to show you. Maybe they'll have some kind of index back here telling you where all these appeared. They do not. That is all Hiromu Arakawa stuff. There's the spine. And here is the sad One Piece book. This is the Color Walk Compendium. And this collects the East Blue to Skypedia. So I think there's three art books in here collected in this nice art cover with a new poster. Nice little fold out poster. That's one side and there's the other side. And these are cool because like I said, I own the regular sized editions of these. I don't own the big biz editions. And I probably won't upgrade to the deluxe hardcovers if they ever get announced. So it's nice to see the characters in color. So most of these are covers from the volumes and then the internal chapter breaks from the actual Jump magazine. And here's some more stuff. And on um, the original one, I own one of the original Japanese ones. And they're coming out with a second volume of this collecting more art stuff. So that's really wicked. I really like the hardcover edition because some of those had been sold out in Japan. Japan! And crazy to find and let's look right over here here's an interview with Oda and ah this is cool this is an index that I was talking about so it tells you the page and where the original color work came from whether it's a chapter break or a new cover for the volume so excellent it's a nice hardcover edition from Viz. The other one was also from Viz. And there is Pokemon Eevee. Definitely gonna play these with the kids. So. Now these next two books right here. Oh, I forgot about this. This is the card that comes with the limited run game. These are from Dark Horse. So let's look at the Final Fantasy one really quick. This is the Ultimania Archive Volume 1, collecting Final Fantasy 1 through 6. Um, now I have the Sky, the Art of Final Fantasy, and I have other Final Fantasy art books that focus mainly on just Takamano's artwork. But this goes beyond his artwork. This goes to everybody's artwork that worked on the video game. So it not only has his stuff, but other people's work, like when they remastered the video game. So this is my kind of jam. Uh, this, actually, Final Fantasy 1 through 6 are probably some of the ones that I've played the most. Okay, this is the remake with Warriors of Light, which was on the 3DS, and I think eventually went on to the PC. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's from the remake. So just a little bit more of this artwork here. So it shows you the Super Nintendo stuff, the original. Okay, yeah, the different logos when it was released on the Game Boy Advance, the DS version. So it did come out on the... Uh, PS and mobile version, okay. This is Final Fantasy IV, one of probably my second favorite Final Fantasy. There's the three sisters, the Magus sisters, which later appear in, of course, Final Fantasy X. And where? I just quickly want to get over here to see Final Fantasy VI. Yeah. There's Terra. Oh, God, I love this game. There's my boy, Locke. Greatest character of all time. All time, Celis, Edgar, and I guess Saban. Yeah, the first five characters to join your team: Cyan, Shadow. Yeah, just looking at, through here brings back memories of this game. I know there's like a cell phone version, which I try to play, but no, it's just different. It's too different. I need a controller. I can't play with my smart screen, so or my smartphone rather. And creator's Voices. So there are three of these. Volume 2 just came out, and I think Volume 3 comes out in February. Next up is what I assume is the final Breath or Legend of Zelda art book, Creating a Champion. This is art book for the Breath of the Wild. Let's look through here at this gorgeous, amazing art. Now, there was a limited edition of this, which was 80 bucks. It was like a leather blue and, you know, after, I don't think you can top the last limited edition that looks like the gold cartridge from the Nintendo days. So I just, just I wanted the regular version. So I put it on my wish list and that's what I got. 
I don't want anybody to spend 80 bucks on me to get a leather bound thing like that. Uh, that's something stupid I would buy myself. Uh, this is a lot cheaper. I think this is only 30, which if you go to in stock trades, of course, it's 42% off. Or even Amazon has them cheaper. Now, this looks like it's got character designs and settings and maps and graphics from the game. Yeah, this is everything I want in an art book. This is the kind of stuff that I look for. God bless, that game is gorgeous. I have not played it yet. I've been watching my wife play it for the last couple of months. And I don't get to see everything because she plays it on the actual Switch from time to time. But when she plays it on the big screen, God, that game is beautiful. Um, and let's look at the final thing that I got. This was a nice surprise because I had forgotten these were out. These are the... Disney Masters from Fanagraphics. This is box set one. What's funny about these, and I'll show you, this collects volumes one and two of the Disney Masters. And this is the Mickey Mouse. And then there is a Donald Duck book in there and Uncle Scrooge. And what's weird is you can get these three different ways. You can get them individually. You can get them in duck only books. So it will like the box set only holds volumes two and four which are duck books or volumes one and three which are the mickey mouse books or you can get them in this box set which is the complete box set that has the mickey mouse and donald duck book and at first i wanted just the donald duck books and i couldn't decide so i guess it was decided for me and i've heard that eventually mickey mouse does appear in a lot of the donald duck stuff so that's cool I'm more of a duck collector, so that's why I wanted to get just the duck box set. And this is stuff that I've never read. This is all translated from Europe. And this one, I think, each one is a particular, yeah, artist. This is Luciano Botaro. And then let's look at the Mickey book. Because I don't know a single Mickey Mouse book. Being such a duck guy, I don't, yeah, it's crazy that I don't own any of these. But let's look through some of this art. The books seem really small. Let me let me grab a couple of the fanographic books that they've done and see what the dimensions are in comparison. First of all, I was wrong. They're not as small as the Carl Barks collection, if you can see from here. They're a little bit taller, as a matter of fact. And just a tad bit wider. Um, but I know they can't be as big as the Don Rosa stuff. That I was right. There's the Don Rosa book in comparison. Yeah. So they're a little bigger than the Carl Barks collection, but not quite as big as the Don Rosa collection. Still, stuff I've never read, translated into English for the first time, at least as far as I know. But if you know that this has been translated before and it was showcased somewhere else, please let me know in the comments down below. Um, yeah, so now I need to pick up volume two of the box set, and I don't think the third box set has been announced yet, because volume six just drops early January, I think. So I hope they don't cancel this line, because I hated the fact that IDW canceled their Timeless Tales line. Those hardcovers were gorgeous, so. At least this way I can keep reading the European stuff that's never come out here. And that was my Christmas haul. Thank you very much for watching and sticking with me. I'd love to know what you guys ended up getting. Or what you ended up getting yourself because you know sometimes you gotta do you i hope you come back for more hauls and more videos here on this channel and if this is your first time watching the channel don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button again this was omar thank you very much for watching and remember if it's classy and cool it must be near mint